Hi fashion sewers, it's Colleen G. Lee here and this is Fashion Sewing Blog. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to sew buttons by hand. Um, there are two basic types of buttons, one's called a shank and the other is called a pierce button. So let's go ahead and I'll show you. Okay, I've got a few samples of buttons here. The first one we're going to look at is a rather large pierce button and the reason why it's pierced is because it has two holes that are pierced from the top to the underneath. Um, as you can see this one's got two, you can also get them with four and you probably find some with just three or even five or even six but they're a little bit harder to get. They come in all sorts of sizes. There's we've got another size there and we've got a little one here. Okay and the next one is what you call a shank button. Okay, the reason why is because in order to attach this button to a garment, the actual holes at the bottom and in the stem. And so that's where you thread your needle through in order to attach it to the garment. Okay, and they also come in many different sizes as well. And it's got a little tiny one here. And I'll just show you a pierce button that's got four holes in as well. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to actually sew it on a garment. I've done a little sample here be beforehand. So this is what a, a pierce button looks like. So now the thread's gone over both holes. And then you create a little stem with the thread. And you do want some movement in there so that um, when it's actually attached to the garment, it's actually not stiff, so it can actually go in and out of the hole. And that's one with four holes. And it's the same happening there as well. And the shank button, because it's already got the stem on it already, what's happening there is that there's not much movement in the thread at all because the movement's actually coming from the button. Okay, and I'll show you how to sew those on. Okay, right, I've got these two um, holes here, these little marks here that are going to indicate where that you'll find your, your patterns when you actually come to sew your buttons, they're little button markings. So I'll put a pin in there. The reason for the pin is just to help you um, to actually make sure that the thread and the buttons is a couple of meters, millimetres away from the actual surface of the fabric. Right, so the first one I'll sew for you will be the pierced one. Okay, so what I'll do to begin with, so that's there, is start from the top of your garment. Pull that through. Just to give it a base for it to start off, and plus you don't have the knot on the underneath, so you want the knot on top. And then you get your button. Could pull it through the first hole, anchor that down in position, and then you get your needle and put that in there, like so. You do that a couple of times, right? Excuse me, it's a bit difficult while I'm doing this on camera and just trying to see where I'm going there. Pull it through again. And pull it down. Don't don't make it too tall. You do, you, do, you do want some kind of movement from the bottom there, yeah? So you don't want it too taut. And um, I would do that about five or six times. And I've only just done it three times there. This is just for video purposes. Okay, so that's not too taut. Pull the needle away. And then bring the needle back up, but not through the hole. Right, bear with me for a moment. Right, you see that. Bring it back up through the hole there, but not through the buttonhole. And get the needle through. And then you're going to wrap it round a couple of times. Like so. And then create a little loop and pull the thread through. This helps with knotting it. Do another. And that helps with knotting it as well. And then without twining it round, what you do then, I'll be out of shot just for a second, let me just get a loop here, pull it through, and then you're going to be finishing off now with a knot. 
that's what you call a, a tail is not that and again and then you've got it there your button okay now I'll show you how to do that with the other type of button which is the shank button okay so we've got the shank here we've got the position for the button there and in this case we don't really need to have uh, a pin you can do if you wish if you, if you feel as though you need to then by all means do so so just create a little base for it to to sit on basically think of it like that get your button and then you're going to thread it through the loop position it down all that through and your button's going to be like that now this is where it gets a bit trickier even demonstrating it because you can't really see the hole but as you keep on threading up and down and again it will be the same case of doing it five or six times through there hope you can see that and I bring it through I'm not going through the fabric and I'm going to twine it round create a loop fill needle through another loop pull the needle through and then do the same again where I'm going to create a loop trying to do this without putting on especially if it's on the surface <laughs> and I'm going to be tying this off a little bit I'm out of shot for a moment just bear with me okay so there pull it through and then get it as taut as you possibly can and there, there you go buttons now on and that's your button then you just cut it away okay there we have the shank button and there we have the purse button I uh, hope to see you in my next video I hope you've enjoyed this and uh, I'll see you soon